Okay, so let's talk about willpower. And this book is by Roy Boymeister and John Tierney. Roy Boymeister is one of the preeminent researchers about willpower in the field of willpower in the world today. And the subtitle of the book is Rediscovering the Greatest Human Strength. Yeah, it is one of the greatest human strengths. So let's try to understand the basics of willpower. What is willpower? Now, this is how the dictionary defines it. Willpower is control deliberately exerted to do something or to restrain one's own impulses. Really simple, really straightforward. Now, as we say, it is the greatest human strength, but with great power, with great power comes great responsibility. That's always the case. And the question is, are you using your willpower wisely? Will you use it wisely? Are you using it wisely? Or are you throwing away your life by abusing it? Now, this is a very powerful statement I make here. Are you throwing away your life by not, by abusing your willpower? Because most people just don't know how to use it wisely. They just don't know how to use their willpower. And hence, they end up not using it properly and abusing it. And that means you are not harnessing the greatest human strength. Okay, so let's talk about the laws of willpower, some of the basic fundamental laws of willpower. Here's the key. We have, throughout the day, we have a finite amount of willpower. We don't have an infinite amount of willpower. We can't just generate willpower out of nowhere. We only have a finite amount of willpower available to us any given moment. And the other key is that no matter what you use your willpower for, it comes from the same bucket of willpower. Whether you use your willpower for working out, whether you use it for controlling your diet, whether you use it for um, controlling your emotions, whether you use it for working hard at your office, whether you use it for creating a video like this, whatever it is, it is coming from one bucket of willpower. The third key, really important key about willpower is that it is like a muscle. We can build a muscle over time by exercising it, by strengthening it. But at the same time, if we use it through the day, it will deplete its strength. It will uh, get weaker as we continue to use it again and again through the day. But over time, we can strengthen it if we use it properly. If we use that muscle properly, if we strengthen the muscle properly, we can strengthen, we can make it stronger. But if we don't use the muscle properly, if we don't um, make good use of the muscle, it will weaken over time. So there is a right way to use willpower and there's a wrong way to use willpower. And we'll get into that in a, just a little bit. Now, here's the key. There are four kinds of willpower and that's how we spend our willpower. So or as we talked about, willpower is about controlling deliberately. It's deliberate control. And so here's, here's what we're controlling. We're controlling our thinking. What does it mean? Well, just for example, if you're trying to control your thinking, like I tell you, don't think of a white bear. Well, you end up thinking of a white bear and not only that, now you have reduced your willpower. So controlling our thinking reduces our willpower. And just working on a task will deplete your willpower. Controlling your thinking because you're working on a task will deplete your willpower. Controlling your emotions, really powerful thing because um, they've done this uh, experiment where they gave moviegoers um, this task to control their emotions and to not have any emotional reaction while watching a really emotional movie. And what they found out was those moviegoers had depleted willpower levels. Another important uh, way in which we control uh, we use our control is controlling our impulses. Let's say not eating something that is really delicious or uh, controlling our impulse to go online and do something that we really want to do. So another way to control our impulses or control, exercise control. Another way we exercise control is performance, how we perform. Sometimes it is through perseverance. Sometimes when we're working on a hard problem and we persevere through it, that's performance. And we, uh, we're controlling it, we're giving it our very best, but that's depleting our willpower. Another way we're planning, we're, we're um, using it to plan something important, really important use of willpower, but it's coming out of our overall bucket and we have to be careful about it. Again, managing our time, managing our commitments, managing, planning, uh, perceiving through important things. Again, this is where uh, control comes in. This is where willpower comes in. So we just figured out how we expend our willpower. Now, what, the one of the key things to understand from this book is the idea that our willpower is to be used 
the best thing to do about our, do with our willpower is to use it properly. Because if we don't use it properly, we are just throwing it away, as we talked about. With great strength comes great power. So let's talk about what is the highest leverage use of willpower, purely the highest leverage use of willpower. And it is to create keystone habits and to break bad habits. That's the best, the most powerful use of willpower. And what do, you, what do we do? Like, So here's the key. Successful people, most successful people, they have they become successful as a result of good habits, not as the result of one-off heroic effort once in a while. Does not, heroic efforts once in a while do not create success. Staying up all night once in a while does not create success. Working on a project once every five days, seven days, 10 days does not create success. So the, the key to success is to having good, good habits. And the amazing thing about good habits is once we create one good habit, it can create a lot of other good habits. So for example, creating a habit of working out or exercising can lead you to a better eating habit, a better better sleeping habit, a better morning productivity ritual, a better evening productivity ritual. So many benefits of working out. It's always been one of the greatest habits we can develop in our lives. Um, now, one of the things about creating Keystone Habit is to start and change, focus on one change at a time. Don't try to do multiple uh, habits. Don't try to create multiple Keystone Habits. Just one change at a time, one big habit at a time. That's the best use of your willpower. Now, let's do an exercise to create keystone habits to create important powerful habits here's the thing i'm gonna go through the four really simple process but the first thing i want you to ask yourself is what is the f most important goal in your life right now what is the single most important goal in your life right now you can pause this video and write it down here's the second thing what is the one habit you must have in order to accomplish this goal what is the one habit you must have in order to accomplish this goal? And you know it yourself. Without this habit, this goal will not be realized. So ask yourself this question. What is the one habit you must have in order to accomplish this goal? The third key. The third step is to write down the three key steps that make up this habit. And any habit is made up of three three parts. The Q is the, the thing that triggers this habit, which would be when, where, or many other cues. The second part of this habit is the routine itself. What exactly will you do? What is the habit itself? And you want to get as detailed as possible. And the third part of the habit is to have a reward, to build in a reward so that every time you do that habit, you get a reward. Now, let me let me give you an example. In my case, I do have the habit of meditation. I feel it is one of the most profoundly important things I do on a daily basis. It helps me develop myself beyond anything else I do. So... What is my cue? My cue is that when I get out of the shower in the morning and I get dressed, that's my cue. As soon as I get out of the shower and I get dressed, I sit down to meditate. What is my routine to meditate? I sit down um, in a specific st spot, spot in, my, in, in one of my rooms and then I turn on my alarm, uh, my stop clock and I put the 30 minute timer or 20 minute timer, whatever it is, and I, and I turn it on and I close my eyes and I start to meditate. That is my meditation routine. Every day, every morning, as soon as I'm done with shower, I go and sit down to meditate. Nothing comes in between. There is no phone calls, no urgency, nothing. That's the routine. And then as soon as I'm done with meditation, my reward is I get to prepare breakfast, eat breakfast, and that is my daily morning meditation routine. Now you can have your own keystone habits and create your own keystone uh, habit rituals and create the whole, write out the whole thing and make sure you go through this process. The fourth step is to commit to executing on this habit for the next seven days. And you have to use your willpower towards getting started on it initially. It takes a lot of effort initially and that's why you need a lot of willpower to get it going initially. And after seven days, you'll see that you're getting momentum and it's getting easier and easier to execute on this habit. Okay, so there we have it. Willpower by Roy Boymeister. This is one of the 90 videos in our 2x mental toughness program, the 90 day mental toughness course. Now, why did we decide to produce a course on mental toughness? Because in all my conversations with some of the greatest thinkers of our times, in all my conversations with my entrepreneurial friends, in all my conversations and my reading, in my reading hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books, there's one thing that always stands out. 
the difference between people who are successful and people who are not is what some people call it persistence, some people are call it perseverance, some people call it mental strength, some people call it grit. No matter how you cut it, that is the most important ingredient of success. It is by far the most important ingredient. And all these books from all these different philosophies, uh, Stoic philosophy to Zen philosophy to NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, to uh, Rational Therapy, which is in some ways cognitive behavioral therapy, and building self, you know, self-image or working with or even Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and um, people like executive coaches and CEOs and Navy SEALs, they've all talked about this, about this idea of building a tougher, grittier, more persistent, more resilient self because that is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate indicator of success. Maybe you are an entrepreneur and you're struggling right now and you're in the trenches and you feel beat up and you feel um, kind of... uh, defeated you feel like you're depressed you don't even feel like waking up in the morning and facing the world this is the course for you because every day every day you wake up and you you just you know you get your daily dose of knowledge you get your daily dose of knowledge and not only that you get one action you get to take action on that knowledge and you build your mental toughness and you do this over 90 days imagine the tool set you will accumulate over 90 days 90 different 90 great ideas on building your mental strength and this this reading i mean this knowledge is a compression of 250 hours of reading of 40 books if you were to try to read these books over a 90 day period it would take you a long time it would take you 250 hours um, around two to three hours per day of reading so um and with these videos, with these uh, videos, you will also get action. You'll also get clickable mind maps for all the big picture and the details. I mean, you've seen these mind maps in the videos. They're so helpful. You can just dig into the level of detail that you want and then zoom out. This is the kind of stuff that you can't even get when you're reading a real book because you can never get that level of perspective, that high, higher layer towards eye view of the book and then just zoom in really quickly and snoop in on the smallest possible detail. That's the beauty of these mind maps and you'll get 40 of these mind maps on each of the books that we cover. And okay, so the regular price of this course is $99. That's the price on launch day and forward after that. And the launch day is August 15th. But currently, you can get the course for $69. You can get the course as an early adopter for $69. That's a $30 discount on the launch day price. The launch happens in three days, so you can avail of the discount right now for the next three days and get and lock the course at a low price of $69. Now, here's the key. If you're on the fence, if you're not sure about the program, we have a 120-day money-back guarantee. So you can, virt- you can literally go through the whole course, through a 90-day course, and st- if even after that, you still feel like you're not getting your money's worth, just ask for your money back and we will gladly do that for you. Now, uh, if you wanna get if you wanna get the course, just click on this link here. Just click here and it will direct you to the to the course. Or you can click on the card in, in your mobile phone, you can click on the card and it'll take you to our website. Or the link for this for this is the link for ordering is also in the description below on the video in the video description below so i really look forward to seeing you inside this program my friends i think it's going to be a great one and until next time go out and live a courageous life